my laptop almost blew up doing this tutorial and you guys can't even subscribe ah the things we do for love but anyway let's get to it so today we'll be creating a warp donut text effect in, in illustrator and uh remember you can always download the file for this illustration in the description below so the first thing we're going to do is create our text Grab your text and choose whatever font you want. So once you have your font, you can now type in your text. I'm going to put Abra Designs. And make sure you type it twice because we do want it to be long enough to fit in the warp text effect. So once we have our text, we're going to hold on alt and drag down right under now we can group these two let's just make sure that they're well aligned we can group these two So now we have six lines of text, which is going to be very necessary. So let's just make sure everything is aligned. And let's group everything. And now we can add in our color. So you can obviously you can choose any color you like, but for this tutorial, I'll be using lime green. So now um, we're going to add our text in the symbol bar so if you don't see the symbol bar you can always come to a window go down and you just select symbols right here so what we're going to do is select it and drag it in you can put in your name here let's just type abra text to here okay and we're done so we don't really need this anymore we can literally just throw it aside but i'm just going to reduce it in size and throw it far away now the next thing we're going to do is select our ellipse tool hold on shift to get that perfect circle and uh, select the color black Now for the actual magic trick, let's zoom in and go to effects. And for this tutorial, we'll be using 3D Classic. So select Revolve. And you can already see the donut shape coming out. So what we're going to do now is work on our custom rotation. So I'm going to put on negative 35 degrees we're going to put this in negative 18 degrees well, let's put it on negative 10 degrees then the last one negative 50 degrees and then for our perspective we're going to put it on 41 or 43 43 is okay and now go to offset okay so now that we have this we can now go to map art go to the symbols and we select our text that we just created now and now all this is just a matter of placement We're going to drag and place our text evenly on our shape. Okay. 
okay so once the text is well placed on our so on our shape we're going to hit okay and now in order to just fix these parts up we're going to work on our perspective let's put perspective to let's just play around with it and see what works oh and that's perfect we got the perfect perspective at 52 degrees and now we hit ok what we're going to do now is select our shape tool our rectangle tool and we're going to create a black background go to layers set the rectangle at the back and lock it we're going to zoom in and start working our magic What we're going to do now is go to object, object, expand experience. We're going to right click and select ungroup, select ungroup again. Finally, we're going to click on release clipping mask. And once we have that done, we can now select our text. Once all the text has been selected, we can press on Alt and drag. Let's just keep that aside. We're going to select everything and group. Now we place this in the center. And there we have our warp donut text effect. But of course, if you don't want to just extract the text from our 3D shape, then you can obviously just, you know, get rid of it. So please remember to subscribe, like my channel for more videos. Please support me. And, um, yeah we got everything done and there we have it guys our perfect 3d warp donut text effect in adobe illustrator you're welcome